Hey everybody, it's Molly with Alt Years and I'm here today to take a look at not one, not two, but three different Disney resorts. That's right, I am at the All-Star Resorts today, which is All-Star Sports, All-Star Music, and All-Star Movies. These are some of Disney's value resorts and they are larger than life and so much fun. So we're gonna explore the resorts, learn some fun facts, see what there is to do, eat, shop. You know we're gonna cover everything. Get excited, let's go. Hey there, sports fans. This first resort is for you. I'm at Disney's All-Star Sports Resort, which brings to life some of the most popular sports in the world in a larger-than-life way only Disney could do. There are five different sections of the resort that bring to you larger-than-life props and pieces from some of the most popular sports in the world. You could stay in basketball. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Surfing. Cowabunga. Baseball. Batter up. Tennis. Love stinks. The basketball section of All-Star Sports is called Hoops Hotel, and you can see that there's basketballs on the railings. You may also notice these gigantic whistles, and they're actually 60 feet long and 20 feet high, and that P in the middle is nine feet in diameter. Yikes. They also have pennants up at the top of different universities, so you can go try and find your alma mater. You should go find the Clemson one. Not that we're good at basketball. This is center court, which is the tennis themed section, and it's super cute. It's got these giant, almost 50 foot tall tennis rackets. And then it's got in the middle, a tennis court design with Donald playing up against his nephews. Do you know his nephew's names? Answer in the comments if you do. These gigantic tennis ball containers, which are covering the stairs up at the tennis section, could actually hold almost 9.5 million regular sized tennis balls. If you're inspired by being at the sports themed hotel that you want to go for a yog, I believe that's how it's pronounced with a soft J, a jog. There's actually a lovely jogging trail that you can take and it'll connect all the resorts together. So you could just kind of jog your way around. That's fun, right? Everyone wants to jog on vacation. Here at All Star Sports, it's all standard rooms, which is your standard two queen bed or one king bed room. Each of the buildings is three stories high. There are elevators in all of them, but again, you can request a ground floor room or top floor room if you prefer. And all of the buildings have ice machines and vending machines. Welcome to the Home Run Hotel, which is, of course, the baseball themed section of the resort. It is home to one of the two pools, the smaller pool, the quieter pool. It's called the Grand Slam Pool. They're not going to have all the resort activities out here, but if you're looking for a little bit quieter, calmer pool to hang out at, this is the one for you. Also, take a look at those baseball bats that are out there. Those would need to be made out of a 40 foot ash tree if they were going to be made for regulation. They were not. A cool thing about these Cokes at the uh, baseball section is that it would take 20 million regular cans of Coke to fill that, which is alarming. Welcome to Touchdown, which is the football themed section of the resort. It's got giant helmets that would take a 200 foot tall man or a woman, I don't discriminate, to wear on their head. It's also got this awesome grass lawn that you could have a really good time playing on. That of course is designed like a football field. Touchdown's actually in a primo location because it's in between the two pools and it's really close to the food court and it's really close to the buses. So that would probably be my pick of where to request when you're staying here at All Star Sports. They're playing some really good music here in the football section. Like they're playing Eye of the Tiger earlier. Now they're playing what sounds like a team band anthem. I don't know, it's like jock jams up in here, but it's really making me happy that football season's back. Surf's up, dudes. I'm in the fifth section of the hotel, which is aptly called Surf's Up. Because of course it's themed after surfing. You can see these awesome, almost 40 foot high surfboards along the resort. And you can see a couple of gigantic shark fins. Those are also almost 40 feet tall. And the shark that would have to have a fin this big would be a 300 foot long great white shark, which that's a dream come true for me because they're my favorite animal, but I am probably in the minority in thinking that. Done. Done. Can we talk about how cute the laundry facilities are at this resort? They are in the Surf's Up bathhouse, which is designed to look like a lifeguard stand. Bum, 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 bum. A cute detail is the 
starfish and the seashells and the cement. Surf's Up is also home to the largest pool here at the resort, the surfing pool. There's a kiddie pool here. This is also where all the main recreation activities that happen at the resort are gonna be. So all the pool games that they play, those are completely free to participate in. Lots and lots of fun ways to entertain the kiddos while you are hanging out at the pool. Hang 10, bros. Can you guys tell I've never been surfing? An important thing to remember when you're reserving any room at any Disney resort is when you do your online check-in, you can actually put in a room request for like, do you wanna be on the ground floor? Do you wanna be on the top floor? Do you wanna be close to the pool? Do you wanna be close to the bus stop? You can do whatever you want. You can want the quietest one. So keep that in mind, because obviously Surf's Up is a great spot if you wanna be close to the pool. But if you want the quietest room, probably not. So keep that in mind when you're making your room requests. There's an All Stars and Icons fun run. It looks like it starts at 7.30 and it goes through all three resorts and it's $15. So make sure you always check the recreation and activity schedule so you know what day that's on, but that would be fun, right? You wanna get up early and run on your vacation. So the main building at All Star Sports is called Stadium Hall and it's where you're gonna find check-in, concierge, the gift shop, and the food court. So it's fun in stadium halls, there's all these big pictures of athletes, like, I believe that's a Williams sister. Gotta assume that's Michael Phelps, Muhammad Ali. Is that Babe Ruth? Clearly I know a lot about all the sports. Oh, that's a basketball player. Is that LeBron James? I think so. Chris Yamaguchi got that one. The shop here at All Star Sports in Stadium Hall is called Sports Goofies, and it's a pretty typical Disney gift shop. We're gonna go peek around where they're gonna have some gifts, some sundries, different things you may need, and um, yeah, let's go look around, because you know I love Disney merch shops. So it's Halloween time here, so they've got a good display of some of the Halloween stuff, which is always fun. They've also got some Star Wars Galaxy's Edge items. Just other kind of generic Disney merchandise. They've got plushes and t-shirts and hats. I really like that they have this display of different balls. Like they've got a basketball, a soccer ball with Mickey's face on it. This is just kind of like a bouncy rubber ball, but it's the Pixar ball, so that's really cute. Little volleyball with Goofy. Oh, here's a Pixar soccer ball. Here's some bigger ones down here, a little bit bigger basketball, and it looks like Mike Wazowski. Like a lot of merchandise shops, there's some pool stuff. Sunscreen, towels, a small selection of bathing suits. So if you forgot your swimming stuff, you can grab it here in case you need an itsy beats itsy teensy what's the song and then here is a collection of some espn because you guys know disney owns espn so there's some espn wild world of sports stuff you can get here as well as some exclusive all-star merchandise so there's this cute all-star resorts mug it says sports music movies repeat that's actually super cute $16.99 and then there are also all-star resort toothpick holders but you guys know what that actually means and there's this cute shirt that says the same thing i've talked about it before but my family likes to get magnets at whatever resort we stay at so we have a full collection on our fridge so there's the cute one with mickey on it and then there's also one that just has all-star resort so there is a lot of Disney snacks. And don't forget guys, if you buy this here at a gift shop, you can use a discount. So if you have an annual pass, DVC or cast member, you can use your discount here in the gift shops. And that includes bottled drinks, not alcohol, but all that bottled water and stuff, you can get a discount on if you have an annual pass or DVC or cast member. And like most resort gift shops, you will find a nice supply of toiletries, over-the-counter medicine, things like that, that if you forgot it, there's a little supply here that you can get. All three of the All-Star Resorts do have a food court. They have a quick service location. They don't have full service locations here, but the quick service locations do offer a wide variety of things. They've got different kiosks or stands or stations, whatever you wanna call them, that offer different things. So let's go check out Endzone, which is the food court here at All-Star Sports.
The cool thing about Endzone is that they do offer mobile order, so you can do your order ahead of time, especially during those busy meal periods, breakfast when you're trying to get out the door, um, or maybe dinner before the dinner rush. You can do mobile order on your My Disney Experience app, and then it, you can just pick it up when you're ready to go. So you know I love mobile order, so this is a great spot to do that. The first section is mostly desserts, smoothies, specialty coffees and baked goods but the thing about the all-stars is they have the best cupcakes like whenever you see on instagram those crazy cupcakes and stuff they probably came from here so if we look at this resort right now look they've got a jack skellington cupcake that's pretty fun they've got ooh, this chocolate cake looks good oh a cheesecake but it looks like a poison apple from snow white actually that's probably a dome cake that's probably the cheesecake there's this cute cookies and cream one and there is edible cookie dough when i say edible cookie dough i mean like it's safe to eat as in there's no raw eggs but like to me all cookie dough is edible has anyone ever really gotten sick from raw cookie dough or are they just trying to keep me from living my life they also have these cute stitch cupcakes these peanut butter cookies that look like a dream and this strawberry one with the mini bow so yeah real cute desserts here this one is an italian type deal on the left hand side so they've got pizzas and a couple pastas you can do a pizza dinner where you get a large pizza and a salad and a breadsticks and that counts as a quick service meal for two and it's actually a great deal because you get that side salad and those breadsticks with it and a drink and dessert and then you also can do this one which is kind of like looks like sports ball classics i see chicken wings a couple pastas so yeah there's some nice options here on the grill we've got cheeseburgers quesadillas there's a protein uh, plant-based protein burger so some different options here as well and this station's closed right now like i said it's in between meals but this one is going to serve like heartier dinner options in the evening time so like they may have steak they may have paros they may have something with mashed potatoes just kind of a little bit more of a heartier comfort food that's typically what we see they also have grab and go if you want to like take it to the pool you can take any to the to the pool but if you're on a way and these are your entrees if you're on the dining plan they have it labeled so they've got some different wraps and oh a cheese plate hello some different salads here's the bar it's called the grandstand spirits they actually have a really good selection of beer here so that's something you may not expect hello <laughs> so grandstand spirits is outdoors as well so it's the pool bar and you can sit right here grab yourself a poolside cocktail or you can of course bring it back over to your pool chair welcome to all-star music the second stop on our journey i am right now in melody hall which is the main room here the main building here at all-star music it's where your check ins going to be where the gift shop and the food court are there are five musically themed sections here at the All-Star Music Resort. You could be staying in Broadway. Give my regards to Broadway. Jazz, shoo it bop bop Country, way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Calypso, come on, check it out and do the conga or rock and roll. A great thing about All-Star Music is that in addition to standard rooms, they actually have some family suites as well that sleep six. So if you've got a bigger group coming, you may want to look into one of those family suites because you might actually save some money doing a family suite instead of two standard rooms. Remember me in Herald Square. Welcome to Broadway. This is the Broadway section of All-Star Music and it's very, very awesome. It's probably my favorite one because it actually looks like Broadway Street, like there's a crosswalk though I don't think you could have a picnic in the actual Broadway. And then there's also all these Broadway marquees for Disney Broadway musicals, such as The Lion King, which is one of the longest running Broadway musicals of all time. The buildings in this section are lined with these top hats. And you'd have to be a size 125 to put that on your head. I wanna wake up in the city that never sleeps. Welcome to Jazz Inn. Of course, this is themed after jazz music. So there's larger than life instruments and a drum set. And there's kind of a subtle nod to New Orleans because of course, a lot of jazz music going down on the bayou. This is actually a really great location because it's very close to the big pool and Melody Hall, but it's also much quieter than the Calypso section. So not a bad spot to be. 
behind me is the piano pool, which is the second of the pools here at All Star Music. It's the smaller, quieter pool. This isn't going to be the one that has all the recreation activities, but again, it's going to be quieter if you want something a little calmer than the big Calypso pool. And it's pretty centrally located. It's almost exactly in the middle of jazz, country, Broadway, and rock and roll. So really good spot. And of course, it looks like a piano. So that's very, very fun. Welcome to Country Fair. This is obviously the country music section of All Star Music. It's got these awesome three-story tall cowboy boots. That would be a size 270 if you wanted to put those bad boys on. They also have a really cute Mickey in the design. And I really like this part because you can see there's a little picnic area behind me. It's pretty calm over here. Wish there was a banjo plucking, but what are you gonna do? Do y'all see those giant bolo ties? That is awesome. Welcome to Rock In. It's pretty rock in. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Anyway, this is the section, of course, themed after that old time rock and roll. You'll see giant guitars, there's giant jukeboxes, there's even an old car here that reminds me of Greece or like the Blues Brothers. So this is a really fun section. It's pretty quiet over here, so this would be a good one, but it is a little bit more of a hike to the main building. And finally, welcome to Calypso, which is home to, of course, Tropical Calypso Beats. And the largest pool here, it's a guitar-shaped pool with the three caballeros in the middle. Please note that on Disney's website, this pool is going under refurbishment from September to December of 2020. So keep that in mind when you're booking your stay. I love that Panchito's guns actually squirt water. Here at All Star Music, the shop is called Maestro Mickey's. And of course, we're going in to take a look. A lot of the same, oh, my weakness, ears, things as the All Star Sports. They have all of the cute, all-star specific goodies here as well. And then lots of just fun Disney stuff. They've also got a full supply of swim gear and sun gear, as well as one of my favorite things, which is the Disney bath products, because you get to take a little magic home with you. Cute selection of the lounge fly bags here, which I carry one on a pretty much daily basis and they're all so cute. It's very hard for me to not buy a hundred of them. All Star Music also has a food court. It's called Intermission. Very similar setup as the end zone over at All Star Sports, but let's go check out what they're serving today. All Stars does have a cooler at, here at Music like they did at Sports, but I'm not seeing quite as many of those grab and go options. They've got like some snacky stuff and they have some sandwiches and salads over here but not quite as many to choose from so similar to all-star sports there's different stations this one's got burgers and chicken nuggets that sort of thing chicken sandwiches this one over here has got pizza and pasta dishes there is again a station that serves heartier food like roasted chicken and salmon and things like that it's not open right now and there, most importantly, are treats on treats. So again, the bakery case looks awesome here at All Star Music. There's a pumpkin cheesecake. Ugh, my basic heart. There's a chocolate cake. There's that Snow White Poison Apple tart. A Jack Skellington cupcake. More edible cookie dough. There's a unicorn cupcake. Those are some sad unicorns, but I just spotted this Sully cupcake from Monsters, Inc. And um, yeah, I need that. So hold, please. Sully is melting fast, but how cute is this cupcake? They usually have a movie-inspired, character-inspired cupcake here, and I've never seen this one, and it's adorbs. I just had to get it. I love Monsters, Inc., and I think Sully is the cutest. It's no buzz, but he's so fluffy. Anyway, it's kind of melted, but it looks like it's just a yellow plain cupcake and probably just vanilla buttercream that's been dyed, but. Mm -hmm. mm. That is so good. Sometimes the cupcakes are really pretty, but they don't taste that good. They, they've gone too far. Not this one. 
Mm. That is just a really good moist cupcake. Mm. That was his ear. That's just chocolate. So this cupcake was $5.99, which is also a snack credit and a great use of a snack credit because that's pretty expensive for a cupcake. But they're definitely big enough to share. They're so much fun. So let your kiddos or you pick out a really extravagant, ridiculous cupcake while you're here. It's one of the best things at the All-Stars. Here at the pool bar is called Singing Spirits. And just like at All-Star Sports, it is accessible from the food court as well. At all three of the All-Star Resorts, the complimentary transportation option is the buses. There aren't any boats. Skyliner's not coming here, nothing like that. You can, of course, always pay for a minivan or an Uber or Lyft or take your own car, but if you want to use Disney's free transportation, you need to use the buses. There are bus stops outside the front of each of the different resorts, but sometimes they share the bus lines. If it's not super busy, one bus may do stops at all three of the All-Star Resorts when they're picking up or dropping off. However, when it is really busy in the peak seasons, in the mornings, in the evenings, then they may have a specific bus for each park and each of the All-Star Resorts. Welcome to All-Star Movies. This is the third and final of the All-Star Resorts, and I am here in Cinema Hall, which is their main building, which again is where you got your check-in, your gift shop, and your dining. Here at the All-Star Movies, you will stay in one of five different sections. It may be the Mighty Ducks, Hockey, Herbie the Love Bug, Car, Hunter One Dalmatians, Dogs, Fantasia, Magic or Toy Story. Toys! Something that they do at all of the All-Stars is a movie under the stars on certain nights of the week. They do that at a lot, pretty much, I think every single Disney resort, but you can go and you can watch on a big screen outside under the stars certain nights a week. Again, check your recreation schedule and they'll do Disney movies. How much fun is that? Great check-in day activity, or if you've called an early one from the parks. Obviously, if I was staying here, I'd request to stay in the Toy Story section because it's my favorite. Probably the Dalmatians would be a close second because it was super cute as well. Neither one seemed like they'd be too, too loud, but definitely the loudest is gonna be Fantasia because the big pool's right there, followed by Mighty Ducks because the second pool's right there. Welcome to the 101 Dalmatian section of All-Star Movies. And honestly, it's so precious. There's a giant 40-foot Pongo and a 35-foot Perdita. There are puppies along the banisters. There's even a little set where you can take uh, your picture in the movies, like when the doggos watch TV. How cute is the floor here? The ground, I guess. But it's got giant dog bones on it. Truthfully, this could only be cuter if there were actually 101 puppies for me to play with. That's an idea, Disney. Write that down. Here is the Mighty Ducks section of the All-Star Movies Resort. It is home to the second pool. This is the quieter of the two pools. It's not going to have those recreational activities, and it's going to be a little bit quieter, tucked away here next to Hunter and Dalmatians and in the Mighty Ducks section. Quack, 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 quack. No one's doing it. The stairwells at the Mighty Duck section are covered by these 31 foot tall hockey goals. And I love that it looks like there's referees or an audience up at the top watching the game. Welcome to the Love Bug section of All-Star Movies. This is probably the quietest section, so if you're into quiet, you probably wanna stay here. But it does feature this Herbie that used to be driven in the Magic Kingdom parades, as well as a giant Herbie that's been cut in half. One half, back half right there. Boop, 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 boop. Front half right there. And I read that that's about five times the size as Herbie, but like it feels bigger, but I guess that makes sense. It's not huge, but it's huge. A great thing about the all-star rooms right now is that they're currently under refurbishment. They're all getting remodeled. They started with the ones here at All-Star Movies and eventually all of them should get refurbished, but they're moving to a style that actually has a Murphy bed in them, which is great because this is a value resort. So these are the smallest rooms on property. So that Murphy bed really saves you a lot of space for your hotel room. Hey, RC. Another little trick of the trade that you can often do at the All-Star, sometimes at Pop Century, sometimes any resort, is you can ask the front desk and you can opt out of your cleaning services. So no one's gonna come make the bed or anything. They will bring you new towels, but you get a Disney gift card if you choose to do this. So inquire at the front desk if you would like to do that. Toy Story is my personal favorite section of this resort because I love Toy Story so much. And look, there's larger than life characters. There's Bo Peep, there's Rex, there's Woody, and there's my main man, 
Buzz Lightyear. He's actually 30 feet tall and Woody's 25 feet, but granted, Woody's sitting down. But this is literally so cute and would be the best, most Instagrammable photos. Toy Story is also really close to the food court and the bus stop, which makes it a real primo spot. Welcome to the last section of All Star Movies, the Fantasia section. This is designed after both OG Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. And it's got the large pool here at the resort. It's got the Sorcerer Mickey pool where Sorcerer Mickey has his fountains going and it's super cute. There's also the broomsticks with the buckets of water around here. It's a really, really cute pool and a cute section. So Fantasia is largely considered Walt's flop because he had this idea that when you'd see water, that all the movie theaters around the country would put sprinklers in their system and it would spritz water on you. And then when you'd see a flower, a, an usher would walk up and down the aisles and throw a flower petal at you or wave some incense. And movie theaters were like, no, we're not doing that. So no one really got Fantasia the way Walt envisioned it. But the thing that did work that he invented was called Fantasound. And it was so that speakers would be all around you instead of just in front of you. And a few theaters did install that, about 80 of them. Um, and yeah, that was the first surround sound. Walt Disney and his team invented it. The gift shop here at All Star Movies is called Donald's Double Feature. And it's gonna have a lot of the same stuff as the other two, but we're obviously gonna still go check it out. This is cute. It's called Concessions right here. That's where your package pickup is, or if you want to buy some adult beverages. And again, they've got snacks and toiletries, similar items to the other locations. Lots of cute headwear. Lots of cute Disney stuff. What can I say? The food court here at All Star Movies is called the World Premiere Food Court, and they recently redid it, and it looks like you're going to the theater. So they've got different sections. The first one's got some pizza, pasta dishes. The second one has your baked chicken and seared salmon, kind of those heartier comfort foods I was talking about. There is a grab and go section, burgers, chicken nuggets section, and of course, a bakery section. So again, a lot of the same cupcakes, but like, don't these desserts just look amazing? Like how cute is this 101 Dalmatians one? I'm... Pool bar here at All Star Movies is called Silver Screen Spirits. And like the other two resorts, you can access it from the food court as well. Great place to come get some frozen concoctions, a nice cold beer when you're at the pool, or just come and sit. You can bring anything you want from the food court out here, so enjoy. Well, that wraps up our tour of Disney's all-star resorts, sports, music, and movies. Let me know which one your favorite is in the comments. I gotta give it to movies. I love that larger than life Toy Story area. The all-star resorts are a value, so they're not super fancy, but they are larger than life and so much fun. And they're getting remodeled, which is fabulous. If you're planning to stay here soon, let me know. Also let me know which resort should I go to next. In the meantime, friends, make sure to rate, review, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram at All Ears Net, and until next time, y'all, I'm Molly, and it's been magical. Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.